It's beer and food o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we're going to be pairing a bottle of Arctic Raspberry Pain by David Marquette. He's a home brewer. 5.5% ABV, green bottle cap with a packet of Branson cheese and pickle flavour, double crunch, coated peanuts. Look at that! They're made by Humdinger, 120 grams. Got them in Lidl's for a pound. Let's do this, it says tear here. Okay, peanuts are open. Oh, they smell amazing. Get the beer out. There's beer everywhere. Oh my goodness me. There's beer everywhere. It's all over the ceiling. It's all over my windows. It's all over my tripod. Crack on. Let's crack on. Um, that scared the living daylights out of me. I gotta show you guys. Hang on. I'll have to grab another beer. <laughs> Tripod. Food bin. Beer landed there. Beer landed there. Beers all over the window. Beer hit the ceiling. This, this, that is in, um, hang on. I'm in shock. I'm just gonna keep going. As all good YouTubers do, yeah, we just carry on. It's all over my microphone. It stinks of raspberries, and that's the loudest. And as for where, oh, there's the bottle cap. The bottle, well, I suppose that happened when I took it off, but I've never ever had anything like that in my life before. Anyway, let's um, try David Marquez's beer. Maybe it sat in my cupboard a little bit too long. I had the smallest of mouthfuls of that beer. Um, that's just not good enough, is it? We want more beer. Back in a moment, I'm gonna get a beer. Okay, we found the beer, Bragdy Tweet Lol's Horny Goat Ale. I've managed to compose myself now. I was in an utter state of shock after that. Um, this has been with me about a month or so. I've got to do it all over again now. Oh man, even that one's there. Oh, there we go, that's not too bad. At least none of the beer. Well, I, I tell you, that, that beer, there's none left in the bottle. If any of you guys know how to do slow motion, um, yeah, please, please do. Please do and send it to me. One to two finger, white head, good levels of carbonation, slightly hazy beer, light, 
light amber coloured beer. Let's get the aroma. Horny goat ale. Okay, what is this? An, a Moorish golden ale at 4.2%. Smells good. Smells alright. A little bit hoppy. Grapefruity, juicy. Oh man, I'm just looking around. I've got so much tidying up to do. There's beer all over the window. Let's dive in. Cheers. Nice citrusy punch, grapefruity, lemony, nice bitterness on the back end. A little bit of, a little bit of a malt taste coming through here. Um, kind of like, almost like a roasted toffee flavour. Goes quite well. A little bit sweet, nice and bitter on the back end. I got five hours before my wife comes home to clean up. I'm gonna have to paint, I'm gonna have to decorate. Okay. Coated peanuts by, by Branson, cheese and pickle flavour. I am hungry now. I'm guessing these are cheese. Oh. I'm guessing these are the pickle. They're insane. They are. They're not 100% peanut. They're like coated things, but when you start with these things, especially the, the coated chili peanuts, oh. So they're 43% peanut and the rest is just wheat and paprika and stuff. The ghost, the coats them really. Yeah, they're just coated peanuts, but nice colors, nice different colors. Um, are they like mass Branson's? Yeah. Mm. It's a bit like having a cheese and pickle sandwich, and that's the whole point of it. I'm really hungry today. How's it gonna, how are they going to go with a beer? I'm still in a, it's not like I pressed pause, went and sat down for half an hour and come back. I literally pressed pause, went and got a beer and I'm back again. I'm still like, that blew me away. Blew me away. My uncle, whenever we meet up for a family barbecue or Christmas or something like that, he will always have a handful of nuts when he's drinking, or a, in his case, a bowl full of nuts. There's all, whenever you go up to his house, there's always nuts on the go. And I'm not really a nut eater. Never really got nuts in my own house. But after a couple of beers, you get your hand in the nuts, and that is the end for me. That is the, I'm gonna eat the whole bag after I've had a few beers. And it's exactly, I've, I've not had a couple of beers now, well, technically I've poured two beers. Well, I didn't even pour the, fir the first one. It just, I'm just wondering where it, well, I know where it went, but it must have just, everything just come out of the bottle. I've never seen anything like it. I wish I had a wider camera. I, I hope I caught everything on camera. It's going to be the weirdest upload ever I think on the channel in 5,000 beers I've never had a bottle completely empty itself as that did it 
Anyway, back to the beer. Probably bottle condition. I seem to be doing a lot of this brewery's beers, Bradley Tweet Gloss, um, pairing them with, with food. It wasn't my intention today to do that. My intention would have been to just review this horny goat on its own. Um, but yeah, it just ended up like, it just, well, you've seen what happened. It just ended up, I had to grab a quick beer. Right, there's a look at the beer. It looks really good now. Good carbonation. One finger. White head. Hazy as you like. It's a really good gold nail. 4.2% ABV. I could drink four pints of this. And I could eat that whole bag of cheese and pickle peanuts by Branson's. Absolutely staggering. For me, the cheese and pickle peanuts, they're a 9 out of 10. And the gold nail, the gold nail is fantastic. I've been up this morning for a walk, come back, it's lunchtime. The sun's just come out in February. And when we get a nice day in February, it starts to feel like spring. You start to feel like something's going to happen. Maybe I can get the barbecue out or something like that. So... So I'm dreaming of a warm summer and it seems like it's the beginning of it out there. So I'm going to grab my beer, grab my nuts, go out in the garden and enjoy. 9 out of 10 for the beer, 9 out of 10 for the for the nuts. Really good stuff, really good stuff. Thanks for watching. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. I checked if I still had all my fingers and stuff after that. I thought, I thought when I pulled the bottle cap off that when the explosion happened... I thought that the top of the bottle had broken off and it was going to be kind of like glass everywhere. I feel quite lucky. I feel quite lucky that it was just the cap and the beer shot everywhere. And, and there's no beer on me. That was the weird thing. It was like, it was like it didn't happen to me, but I can see it everywhere. Thanks for watching. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom and cheers.